Hey guys, I'm back with part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this suburban house. Here in this video, we're going to be finishing the main exterior of the house. So we're going to be bringing up the exterior walls for the second floor, topping off the roof for the center of the house, and we're also going to be adding some decorations for the front porch and the deck. So I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using here in this video. There are quite a lot, so I'm just going to go through and just like scroll through them all. And you guys could read which block you have to grab. Okay, so yeah, quite a few. So let's go ahead and get right on into building. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is bring up each corner of the house to the height that they're actually going to be brought up to. So make sure you have your pillar quartz blocks. Now we're going to start right here at the front side on the corner of the front porch here. So we have this pillar quartz block already here. So go ahead and add an additional eight on top of that going up. Okay, so there we go, an additional 8. So that is how high it's going to be. We're going to go ahead and do that for all the other corners. So we have this corner right here. Go ahead and add an additional 8 again. Okay, so at the same height as that one. Let's head on over here towards the back. And we already have all the other pillars marked out. So we're going to go right here, another 8. We'll go to this one as well. I'll just bring it straight up to the same height. And then we have this one. And then this one here. Let's work our way back up towards the front. We have this corner. And then we have another one right here. All right, and I believe that is all of them. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four here at the front, and actually four at the back as well. All right, so there we go. We just brought all those up. Now let's go ahead and start filling in the walls. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure we have our white concrete, and we'll start with the easier walls first. So we have this right side over here. In between these pillars, it's just going to be all white concrete. And then for this side over here, in between the pillars, it's going to be white concrete as well. So just on the sides where we have the roof. We'll start over here. And let's just follow along all of these stairs. We'll just work our way up with the white concrete. Make sure to follow along where that slab is as well. And then we'll work our way back down. And now on top of all of this white concrete, we're going to add some more white concrete. And then we have to bring it up an additional layer to the same height as the pillars. So from the inside, it's looking like this. And then from the outside, it looks all filled in. Let's head on over here. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So we'll start here at the back side. We'll follow along the stairs. And then we'll go ahead and just leave it on this layer and bring it straight towards the pillar. We don't really have to fill in all this space underneath. That'll pretty much just be a waste of blocks. So now all of the space on top of this white concrete that we just placed, we're gonna go ahead and fill in and bring it up to the same height as the pillars. Okay, so now from the inside, it's looking like this. And then from the outside, once again, it looks all filled in. And we are going to have a chimney going up right here, like I mentioned before. So we are going to be deleting a few stairs and stuff. 
but we'll probably end up doing that last. So this is what it's looking like. And I also do want to mention, I did not use the space above here. I mentioned this in part one and in part two, but I want to make sure that if you want to use this space, it is going to be covered up when I do the tutorial, but you could add a doorway right here add maybe like a little hallway here and then have it turn towards the right. You can have a bedroom and then all the way over here, a bathroom. But that is up to you. That is probably the last time I'm going to mention it. So make sure if you want to use this space to go ahead and use it. It's up to you. I will not be using it. So uh, let's head back towards the front and we'll start bringing up all of these walls here. All right, continue with your white concrete. We'll start at this wall here in between these two pillars. We're going to add an additional two layers of white concrete. So starting right here, bring it along. And then right on top of that, add another layer. And then we'll go up along the sides of the pillars and add an extra layer of white concrete on each side like that. We'll do the same for in between here. We have this behind this pillar. So we're going to add, we don't actually need two layers. So let's just go right here on the same layer as these slabs. We'll wrap it around. So it looks like this from the outside, we just have kind of half a block of white concrete peeking through. All right. And that's at the same height as this white concrete here. This entire wall behind this pillar is going to be white concrete. We'll fill this in. And then we'll fill in an additional layer right along, whoops, right along the side here and right along this pillar. So it's looking like this. And then we'll do the same thing for this wall. So right behind this pillar, we'll go at the same height as this white concrete. We'll add two like that. And then we'll bring it up to the same height as that pillar. And then we'll bring this right along. And then an additional layer right along that pillar. So it looks like this. Oh, and we got to add one more here. All right. So this is how it is so far, as you can see. And then I guess I'll look at it from the inside. It's looking like this. All right. So now. Let's head back on over to this side. You could grab your gray concrete. We're gonna have a big five block wide window here. So add four layers of gray concrete on each side. Then some upside down quartz stairs in between them at the top. And then white stained glass panes. Oh, whoops. And now right above this window, we have to fill in an additional two layers of white concrete. And there we go. We have that window all done. Looking good. Head on over to this space. We're just going to have a two block wide window. So four blocks of gray concrete on each side. Some upside down quartz stairs. White stained glass panes. Two layers of white concrete. Then another window here, the same way that we just did that other one. Okay, so now the front side of the house is looking like this so far. And we already got the sides filled in, so we can then head on to the back. Continue with your white concrete. We're going to add an additional two layers on top of this wall that we already have here. So we have one and then two like that. So above this window here, we have one, two, three, and four layers of white concrete. I'm going to do it in between the pillars here for the center and for right over there on that side. All right. There we go. Now let's bring up a layer along this pillar over here first. And then we'll go on this side. We'll bring up a layer right behind this pillar and then another one. So it looks like this. And we're going to have 
You see how we have that window there? We're gonna have another one lined up with it on the second floor the exact same way. We'll do the same on this side. So we have two spaces of white concrete here, bring it up to the same height as the pillar. And then we'll have this side as well. Now let's go ahead and fill in these windows. So grab your gray concrete. We'll have four on each side. Your upside down quartz stairs and your white stained glass panes as well as two layers of white concrete on top of the window. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Now we have a big, I believe five block wide window here in the middle. So I have a layer of quartz or a layer of white concrete going along the pillar quartz. And then we're gonna have four blocks of gray concrete again. Your upside down quartz stairs. And then we'll go ahead real quick and do the two layers of white concrete. And then all the other space for the window is gonna be filled in with the white stained glass panes. So it's looking like this. Let's add a few little decorations. So we're gonna have a quartz stair on each side where this two block wide window is. And then we're gonna curve one like that and like that on each side. So it forms a cool little shape. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't think I've ever done a little window thing like this before. So why not change it up? Let's go to this side. Just have a stair on each side like that. And then we're gonna curve one in on each side. And there we go. And then here in the middle, it's gonna be a bit different. We have one on each side again, and then curving one just like we did before. But then we're gonna have three slabs in the middle. So let's go ahead and grab our quartz slabs. I'll just switch out the white stained glass panes. We'll fill that in. And then let's grab our flower pots and the corn flower. And we'll add maybe one right here and here. And then two for this window. And two for this window. And I think that's all the little window decorations that I have. Just a few here at the back. Alright. So let me go ahead and grab the quartz stairs again. And let me think, we're gonna be doing the roof now. So we need the quartz stairs, then we need the andesite stairs, the stone brick stairs, then the andesite slabs and the stone brick slabs. And do we need anything else? Oh, and then we also will need the white concrete to fill in some space. And then I believe we actually will need some white stained glass panes still because I think I have like a little window decoration. So let's head back on up to the front and we'll start shaping out the roof now for the middle of the house here. Okay, let's be sure to grab our quartz stairs. You can pretty much start wherever you want. We're just gonna have upside down quartz stairs wrapped around the entire top layer of these walls. So just curve them all together and just wrap right around all the walls until you meet back up to the front. Okay, so there we go. Just some upside down quartz stairs at the top layer of the walls wrapped around. Now we're gonna have a triangle shape here at the front and then another one at the back. And then all the other parts of the roof are just wrapped right around. We have no more other triangle shapes. So we'll start here at the front. We're gonna go here at the corner, place a stair like that on its side. Then we're gonna have one that's upside down right beside that and then another one up on its side and then we're just going to go back and forth we're going to have one upside down like that and then up and upside down just like how we did it for the roof at the lower sides of the house and you could bring this up until you feel like you're at the center so in this case it's going to be this second row of glass panes for this window so we have to bring it up one more 
Alright. We'll go to this corner now. We'll bring it up to the same height. And we're going to be left with one space in the middle. So, like I said, one space in the middle, so we're going to have the upside down quartz stair like that. And then we actually need our quartz slabs. We'll swap out the white stained glass panes. We actually don't need those anymore for right now. And we'll place the... Oh, that's a stair. We'll place the slab right there. Let me go ahead and rearrange these. So they're all right next to each other. There we go. Rearrange this as well, so the white concrete's right there. Because we now need to fill in this white concrete. So let's go behind the shape that we just made. And we'll bring along the white concrete right along pretty much all the upside down quartz stairs and then back down the same way like i said like how we did it at the lower sides of the house it's just the same way so then we'll fill in all of this empty space so from the inside like the back it looks like this and then from the outside it is all filled in all right, now that we have this shape here done at the front, let's head on to the back. We're gonna have one more triangle shape back here. So here at the corner, go ahead and bring up a stair like that, then upside down on its side, and then just back and forth the same way that we just did it at the front. And then once again, we're going to be at the second row of this glass here on this side. So bring it up until you're lined up with that. And then we'll start working at the other side up. And we're going to be left with one space in between them again. Alright, there we go. That's all lined up. Let's go over here and do the same thing. And then upside down quartz stair right along the middle. And then a slab. Now let's go behind this shape and fill it all in with white concrete just like we did at the front. And there we go. Now we have the shape here at the back. And now we're pretty much just going to start filling in all the roof. With the andesite stairs, some stone brick stairs, we are going to have a few slabs as well. So let's get on to doing that next. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with my andesite stairs first. We'll be sure to add all the texture afterwards. So I'm here at the front. We'll just start right here. Right on top of all these quartz stairs, we're just going to add some andesite stairs. Just follow right along the edge and just wrap them around. So it's just like how we did the quartz stairs like the upside down quartz stairs that we're placing them on now, except they're up and they're right on top of the quartz stairs. Then you could curve that back towards that stair right there. Now, uh, actually, let's go to this side and continue from here. So just like this and wrap it around. It's very simple. Don't overthink it. I know, I, like I always say, the roof can sometimes be confusing, but just don't overthink it. Follow right along with me and you'll be sure to get it right. So now let's go back here. We're lined up with this stair and we're gonna go right along. We're right on the edge of the andesite stairs. We're not gonna go ahead and place it like that or leave it here. We wanna be right on the edge of these stairs and then fill this in and then stop it here and curve it back towards the court stair. And we'll go on this side and do the same thing. So start it here. Bring it out an extra one so that you are right along the edge of these stairs at the first layer and just wrap it around. Okay, so we have two layers going up so far. Let's go ahead and start adding the third layer. It's just going to be the same way that we've done the other two. Okay, now we have three layers, and once again, we'll work our way up to the fourth layer. Oh, 
Okay, so we're about on the layer where we're gonna start placing some slabs. So I'll be sure to do that. So let me just wrap this around back towards the front. Okay. So there we go. As you can see, this layer right here is going to be some slabs. And then we have this back layer over here, which is also some slabs. But first, make sure this is what you have so far. We almost have the entire roof done. Then we have to go back and add our texture and stuff, if you decided to do that. But overall, we have almost the entire shape of the roof done. I'll make sure to get all the angles. It's looking like this. I really like how this roof turned out. This is definitely actually... Probably uh, based off the exterior of this house is one of my favorite ones that I've made so far. The interior could have been a little bit better because there are some of the bedrooms are a bit on the smaller side, but I tried my best to fit in as many bedrooms as I could. But overall, the exterior of this house, like I said, is probably my favorite that I've done so far. All right, so there we go. I just took a look all the way around. So, make sure you have this so far. So, I'm gonna switch to my andesite slabs now. And let's be sure, let's count it just in case. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you should be right on the edge here. You should have nine. And then let's head to the back. Be sure to count this as well. We have one, two, three, four, five and six right on the edge there so now we're going to start bringing up this middle part a little bit more just a couple more layers so i'll continue with my andesite stairs i'll maybe just start here delete that one so start right here lined up with these slabs and we'll start working our way up and just wrap it around the same way that we were doing it before just right along the edge of the of that layer of stairs right below this and we're going to bring it up until we are left with a slab for this little spot over there. So we just add in one more. Now I believe we're going to add actually just one more after this. Yeah, so uh, this is the last layer of stairs. And now all the rest of it is going to be filled in with slabs. So let's grab our indesite slabs. We'll go up half a block like that. You don't want to be in here. I guess that could work, but I don't think that looks as good. You want to be half a block above the stairs. And then you can start filling all this in. And then what I'm going to do, we'll go ahead and take a look at what it's looking like. So there we go. Looks all good. So actually, there should be 12 slabs here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And now we have the overall shape of the roof done. And let's actually take a look at what the house is looking like so far. It is coming together. Pretty much have the entire main exterior of the house done. So now I'm going to... Go ahead, let me see. I'll just swap out the quartz slab for now. I'm just gonna quickly grab a potion of swiftness and I'm gonna cut out a bunch of random holes and replace them with the with the stone brick stairs and the stone brick slabs. So I'll see you guys when I have all the texture added and then we'll head on to, let me see. Maybe we could do the decorations for the front porch and the back deck and then I think after that, we just have the chimney. And then I think we have the main exterior of the house done, right? Let me see. Yeah. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to quickly do all the texture for this main part of the roof. And I'll see you guys when I have it done. Okay, I think I replaced all the blocks. Oh, hang, oh, hang on. I missed all these right here. Make sure you're not missing any. I believe these are the last of them. I'll have to take a look, make sure I didn't miss any. All right, did we get it all now? I believe so. Yeah, I think that looks so much better adding that extra texture. 
Okay. Yeah, I think I got it all. Well, there we go. So now, let's take a look. Looking a lot better. So I'm gonna add the little decorations at the front porch and at the back deck. And then we'll do the chimney. Okay, we just have a few decorations here at the front porch. And I actually forgot to grab the lights. I'll be sure to grab those last. Uh, but we have just some jungle fences where all those blocks of quartz are. And then we have oak leaves. And covering up all those oak leaves, I just added some jungle trap doors. So these kind of look like hanging flowers that you would normally have on your front porch sometimes. But in this case, I just had some oak leaves. It works a little bit better. It's pretty much like the only option I have. All right. So yeah, I'm just going to cover up all of these. Okay, there we go. Let's switch to our jungle fences again. We're going to have just a little chair here. Like a, a swing. So we'll look at this block. We'll look straight up. We'll place one, two, three, four, and five fences like that. So we're left with one space here at the bottom. And then we'll go over here to this block. We'll bring it down the same way again. And now I'll go ahead. Let me see here. Oh, wait, let's place it like this. So we just have, oh, got a crouch. We'll have the trap doors. I want kind of like the handle to all be on the same side. So it doesn't look weird. Let's see, how does that look? Or should we have maybe the handle on that side and on that side? And maybe just cover up these other handles. I think that looks good, actually. So I have the handles on each side and then the ones in the middle. It doesn't really matter. But either way, there we go. I forgot to grab some uh, sea lanterns and iron trap doors. So just a little extra light here for the porch. So I'll put one right here. Should I have it like that or I'll bring it down? Yeah, I'll bring it down like that and then we'll have the iron trap door. I'll have another one right here. And then maybe another one right here. And I think that should be good. And we're not going to have any lights at the back deck unless you want some. Feel free to have some, but I actually didn't have any. So pretty much we don't need the sea lanterns anymore until we head on to the interior. But there we go, just a few little decorations there at the front for the porch. We'll be doing the landscaping for part four so after this video so we're not going to worry about that here in this video quite yet i just want to do a few of the little decorations for the front porch and the back deck so now for the back deck we're going to be using the cobblestone stair cobblestone wall full blocks of cobblestone oh we have some iron trap doors here and then some furnaces oh and then the cobblestone slabs so i'm just going to have a little grill so i have two blocks of cobblestone like that then we'll have some stairs upside down two on each side then two furnaces and then we'll have two slabs cobblestone wall and then we'll have the iron trap doors and there we go we'll leave it at that for the grill and now we just have is the chimney right along over here so i'll just clear all these blocks and then let's see we'll clear yeah we don't need any of that we don't need this all we need are the brick stairs granite stairs granite slabs brick slabs full blocks of bricks and then full blocks of granite the hay bales and the campfires and then we have this which we have to get rid of i didn't see that so yeah, just all these blocks here used for the chimney. And I actually think the chimney turned out pretty good. I really like the design. I think it's the best one that I've made so far. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Okay, so we're just going to start with the full blocks of brick for now. And then we'll add all the extra texture later. So we're looking at, I'm like here at the right side of the house. And we're looking at this roof here. We want to make sure we leave nine 
upside down quartz stairs on each side. So we have this one right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now starting on the 10th block, work your way towards the left and place or er, delete five of the quartz stairs. And then you should be left with another nine here at the left. So we have one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is even. And then we'll go ahead and delete these few stairs here. All right. And then we could pretty much just, uh, let's see, we'll look straight down. We'll delete this one. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So like I mentioned before, we are going to be deleting a few stairs. And then we're going to delete another three right here in the middle. So it looks like that. So we have five that we deleted right here. Okay. And then we went out and deleted another three right down the middle. All right. So we could pretty much just start shaping out the chimney now. So we'll have five blocks of brick like that. We'll go up and have another five. And then we'll work our way down to right here. We'll fill in five like, eh, hang on, like that. And then we'll just bring it up to the other blocks. Okay, so it's looking like this. And now let's go right here on this layer. And then we'll just bring this up a little bit. Bring it up to the same height for now. And then let's continue bringing this up. You can bring it up to however high you want. So I'll bring it up. Let's just continue like that. And then we'll bring this part up maybe right around there. And then I want some stairs on this layer. So it's looking like this. All right, so make sure you have something like this so far. So I think it might be a little bit too tall for where these blocks of four are, this, or five. So let's carve that down. Let's maybe have a stair on each side. Does that look good? Or should we bring it down another layer? Let's go ahead and bring it down another layer. We don't want it too tall. So I have this right here. I'll be sure to uh, count it so you guys could make it just how mine is, if you would like. So let's see, I have, starting at this layer, you can see we kind of got like one block there, and then we have two, three, four, five, and six. And then we have the layer of stairs. So that means we have six, seven, and then we have eight here for this back one. So this one here at the back is eight in height, and then this one right here is seven in height. So it looks like that. Kind of get an idea. Oh wait, actually we could do it. It'll look easier here. So we have like this layer of the stone stairs. And then we have a block of brick here. And a block of brick here. And then the stair here. So we're like three blocks higher like that. Or like two blocks higher than this layer of stairs here. Okay. Then let's see. We have... Let's go ahead and delete five blocks here. We'll fill this in with five uh, bricks. And I'm thinking, should we bring it up here? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring it up one more because I don't want these stairs to be right on top of each other. And then we'll have two stairs on each side. Yeah, that's good. There we go. I like that. And then let's bring this up maybe one more. And then have the stairs again. And then we'll fill this in. Okay. And now we're just going to fill in six spots and just continue bringing it up. So that is three. Let's do, actually we'll leave it there. So this is what I have so far. We're getting the overall shape for the chimney down. So if we look at this layer where the court stairs are, we have one, two, three, four. And then we have this layer where the stair is right here. And then we go up one, two, and three after that. And then the layer where the uh, stairs are right here. So we have, let's see, we have this quartz stair and then we have one, two, three. And then on the fourth layer are these three stairs. I hope this makes sense. I hope I'm not going too quick. I hope it's not confusing, 
but this is what we have so far. Okay, be sure to have your brick stairs. We'll go right here at the top. On each side, we're going to place two stairs facing up like that. Then we'll go up another layer and do the same thing. So we have two upward stairs on each side stacked up on top of each other. And then on the same layer as this first layer of the stairs, we're going to place one upside down right next to it. And then one here and another one there. So they all curve together. We do the same thing on this side. So we have one on its side upside down on the same layer, then one here and one here. Okay, so that's all looking pretty good. Now let's have a slab in each corner. And then a stair. And there we go. We have the overall look of the chimney. Let's grab our hay bales. We're going to place two like that. And then two campfires on top of it. In case you didn't know, the hay bales make the smoke go a lot higher. So without them, uh, the smoke would probably be ending... Uh, maybe like right around here, but then they're going all the way up there. So it like doubles the height of the smoke. I don't actually know how high it goes without the hay bale. Let's see. So if we just place a campfire like that, so the left is, oh, it's still disappearing, but yeah, the left is where the hay bale is and the right, oh, you can see it's stopping right there. So it is... Yeah, it's about three times as high, pretty much. So yeah, let's go ahead and put the hay bale back. Eh, there we go. All right, now what I'm going to do is just start adding a bunch of texture. So I'm going to grab some granite stairs and we'll replace a few of these brick stairs. So we'll do maybe that and that. Maybe another one right here. We'll have one here and one there all right now let's replace a few down here oh make sure that curves okay that looks pretty good now let's grab our granite slabs we'll maybe replace that one and that one and then we have a few more stairs up here we could replace okay that looks good yeah i think that's fine and now let's go ahead and grab just our regular granite blocks and start replacing a few of these brick ones. So now I'm going to just maybe grab some brick stairs and granite stairs. And I'm just going to add a few little extra shapes. And I think that's good. I think we could leave it like that. That's fine. Maybe another one. Let's see. Eh, no, I think, I think it's good. Yeah, maybe another one here. All right. So there we go. I think that's good for the chimney. Okay, just really quick. I did just end the video, but I do want to fill in kind of like these lights that we have up here. You can see there's a bit of a glow. I don't want that there, so I'm just going to grab some of these slabs and try to cover that up so you can't see that glow anymore. Uh, we have another one right here and another one right here. Alright, that's better. I just really didn't want to see that glow. It was pretty noticeable. Okay, and there is one last thing that I want to do. You don't have to do this. If you end up actually using the space above the garage, don't even worry about this. If you don't want to do this, don't worry about it, but I am going to do it. So I'm just going to maybe grab some white concrete and some sea lanterns. And since I didn't end up using the space above the garage, it's all like dark up here. So I'm actually going to add some lights so that when you look at these windows, it looks like it, the space is actually used because you can see a bit of light. So I'm pretty much just going to maybe add some blocks like that. Maybe two more underneath here. Let's add another row. Add some here. Pretty much just try to hide the sea lantern. So let's see. Let's have it maybe right there. 
And then, oh wait, maybe that's too low. Let's make sure not to have it too low so it doesn't interfere with the first floor. So we'll just have a sea lantern like that. And uh, yeah, actually we'll leave it just as that. And then over here, we'll have another one. And then we'll kind of fill in all this space. Okay, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I just wanted uh, a little bit of light glowing off of the windows there. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for part 3 for this tutorial on how to build this suburban house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 4.